Hi, Martin. That's Jeff Jack Mady. So I read your uh, post there, and that was interesting. Uh, it's very interesting that John Farrar was very concerned about the rights of defendants and the constitutional aspects of that. But at the same time, that's his focus of his criticism of me, because I represent people charged with crime. And you posted that one thing that while uh, he was his office was in court convicting a murderer, I was representing a pedophile. Well, that might not have been the best case for John Farrell to look at uh, and use against me, because obviously this shows how out of touch this guy is. In that case, the defendant was bound over on 22 counts, felonies of the second degree. He was facing 168 years in prison. John Ferraro's office plea bargained that to one count with a maximum sentence of eight years. So they dismissed 21 felonies of the second degree on that same individual. And so you know, his mother, uh, an elderly woman, and his ex-wife came to hire me because, like a lot of people that hire lawyers, they don't understand the system. They want to make sure they have somebody they can rely on. Uh, they don't condone, he had child pornography. That, he was possessing child pornography. Never any allegation he molested any child. He married, he had three kids, he had no record. They had no idea, but obviously they wanted him to have a lawyer that they could talk to to help steer them through this difficult time. The other thing, Martin, I wanted to tell you is Ferrar's office is in a mad scramble now to try and do direct indictment. They're, gonna, they're trying to do them in mass court. They're trying to get people to waive the preliminary hearing at their arraignment. I don't know. I think Judge Elam might have something to do with this, but I don't know yet. But Jimmy Hopp told me this today. He said, Jeff, they're trying to do direct indictments in mass on all the time now. Uh, so John Farrell is talking about how it's important to do, you know, do this process the way he's been doing it. But at the same time, his office is trying to do direct indictments now in mass on all of a sudden. This is just brand new, last week or two. They've been trying to, to do this. So uh, the guy's really a hypocrite, uh, Mark. Uh, uh, you know, he says that he's concerned about the Constitution, but he criticizes me for doing just that, defending people. He says that this direct indictment thing's wrong, but he's desperately trying to get it going now and, and that one.